Hey guys, it's Bub here, and this video we're taking a look at RT10 RTM U2. We actually took a look at this ISO a few months ago, however that was a previous version that we did find some issues with. If you don't know, RT10 aims to make Windows 11 look and feel exactly like Windows 10. It is Windows 11 at its core, but it's built to look and themed like Windows 10. I'm told by the developer that I will not be able to tell that this OS isn't actually Windows 10. I'm told that this will feel and look exactly like Windows 10. I won't be able to tell that it's actually Windows 11. So I'm very eager to see what this looks like. Like I said, we did take a look at a build of this a few months ago back in October, but since then this build has improved. And again, we did find some issues with that previous build. Just what we saw right off the bat, you can see this is a 2019 copy of the installer or well, the boot.wim file. Um, and we saw that Windows 10 logo. So obviously the boot.wim for this OS, or for this ISO rather, is probably from 1903 or 1909, which isn't an uncommon practice because it bypasses those TPM requirements. And that was it. Nothing abnormal, looks like a typical Windows 10 installation, so we'll be back once we're installed. All right, and here we go. So we can now say that we are, so we're actually in the out-of-box experience for Windows 10, which is something I'm actually a little shocked about they were able to do. We've completely bypassed the Windows 11 out-of-box experience, and we're now in Windows 10's out-of-box experience, which is even asking us for a Microsoft account. I'm not even convinced that this is legitimately Windows 11. Because remember, guys, this is Windows 11 at its core, supposedly. That's what we were told. So I'm not too convinced that this actually is as of right now, but I hope we see some more proof that this is actually Windows 11 and not Windows 10. All right, so we are now in the desktop and first things first, we can see it is immediately prompting us with user account control windows. And yep, here's our proof this is actually Windows 11, where it comes up in Microsoft Edge saying, welcome to Windows 11, welcome to Windows 11. So that's our proof. Now, let's get some VMware tools installed here, and then we'll take a look at what's on the desktop, because we do actually have quite a few things here on the desktop. First things first, oh, there we go. I'm noticing that it was a little laggy to get that start menu open. Uh, but it opened, so let's get VMware Tools installed here. Um, so far, is so good. The only thing that has given it away is the fact that inter is that Microsoft Edge opened, saying "Welcome to Windows 11," and also this icon down here in the taskbar that is a Windows 11 installer icon. Can't actually remember what it looks like in Windows 10. I think that's not the Windows 10 icon. Again, I could very well be wrong. Uh, based on what I can tell here, uh, this does be appear to be Windows 11 21 H2. Uh, based on the build 22,000. Um, we won't restart right now. Uh, but wow, this is noisy. I keep getting a lot of notifications. All right, and here we are on the desktop of RT10 RTM U2. And off first impressions, this is Windows 10. You cannot tell that this is not Windows 10. So let's come up here to this. I do recall reading in the archive.org page that we did have to run this but there is a readme about this. So you must run this before doing anything. So we will listen, we will run as administrator and it just rebooted our system. Okay, pretty cool. All right, once again, we are getting a out of, we're getting a user oob elevation prompt. We'll just accept it. Let's go back to the readme. You must run that. You can, you should enable test mode. You can remove blah, blah, blah. This mod can't be used in other drive letter if the search box flickers just turn it off okay apparently that's a solution but here we are so on the desktop we can see we have recycle bin we have a batch file that we ran what does this actually do uh, it checks for permissions and then it does whatever this stuff is you can figure that out um, one thing I'm noticing is that this batch file icon is a Windows 11 icon so that could also give it away we have the readme file we have test mode run it if Run it if nothing works, otherwise don't run it. We have UWD, which will get rid of that watermark on the desktop, which we won't do that. And of course, Microsoft Edge. Down here in the taskbar, we have our show desktop icon, which is no longer present in the latest builds of Windows. You have to actually manually turn it on, which is annoying. We have our action center with all of our traditional icons, including our network, pretty cool. We have our volume, which is Windows 10 volume sound, network settings, and over on the left side, we have nothing pinned to the taskbar by default, but we do have our overview, I forget what this is called, um, as well as our search bar, which does appear to be working well. And then our start menu, which by default has no apps pinned. Can we actually pin apps? Yes, we can. So it does work like the traditional Windows 10 start menu. 
um, but let's go back to the way it was when we got it. By default on this build, we have Calculator, File Explorer, Microsoft Edge, Microsoft Store, Notepad, Paint, Settings, Snipping Tool, Windows Administrative Tools, Windows Ease of Access, and Windows Security, and that is it. This is what Windows should ship with. This is my personal opinion, but this is all Windows should ship with. It should not ship with anything else. This is all it needs. There's no reason why Windows should come with anything but this. Let's go into settings and see what this build actually identifies itself as. But we can actually see here, this is Windows 10 settings. Like they brought this back. They brought the full animations back. It is identifying itself as Windows 10 Enterprise LTSC. Again, it is version 21 H2, so I was right about that. That's a Windows 11 version. And it is 22,000.1. It does appear to be Windows 11, but like a very, very, very early build, which is most likely how they were able to theme it like this. I would be very curious to know if something like this is possible in like Windows 10 24 H2, Windows 11 24 H2. Let's take a look at disk space and CPU usage. Uh, as for CPU, typical Windows CPU usage, probably about 9, 3%. Yeah, tip, Windows likes to fluctuate like that. Memory, I gave this VM 8 gigs and we're using 2. Again, typical Windows 11. Uh, in File Explorer, let's take a look. We are utilizing, I don't know why I did that. We have 48.7 gigs free of 59.3, which means that we're using estimate about 11 gigs. Not bad, typical Windows 11 install. So that being said, this is a brief overview of RT10 RTM U2. Again, it is basically what Windows 10 should have shipped like. But remember, this is Windows 11 at its core, which is honestly impressive, the fact that they were able to get this to work. Um, where This is Windows 11. And you can't tell the difference between this and Windows 10. So that being said, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new around here as you do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. That being said, I'll see you all in the next one.